Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. First, in fact, out. that brings me to this question which I'm I think is now ripe for asking after you've scanned the political and economic environment. What's your assessment of President Akainde Ichilema now that he has saved two and a half years? Remember, he came on the, uh, uh, on the hope that at first you reduce the prices of essential cost goods and living. services, cost that he, you bring yes. down the cost of living, that you bring discipline to what he termed, you know, poor governance, that he will attend to poverty, he will attend to the economy, and everything is gone, nose died, literally all the parameters. What's your assessment? Okay, my, my assessment of uh, President Akainde Chirema's rule the past two years uh, has, been, uh, has produced a poor perception on my end. I actually think it's been dismal. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's been very poor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ambassador, if you are a president who wants the rule of law to be upheld, mm -hmm. you cannot watch illegality being perpetrated and being supported by government institutions. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay? It is impossible for Mao Sampa's conference to be recognized by government. Mm -hmm. It's completely impossible. Mm -hmm. So that, just that tells you that this government is not ready for the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's not ready for the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? Uh, I hear Mao Sampa was having uh, uh, some meeting somewhere, mm -hmm. and there was a heavy presence please, of police. Please, 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 to secure Get him. To secure him. Mm -hmm. What are you fearing? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. What are you fearing? This meeting is not secured by anyone. Mm -hmm. This conversation is not secured by anyone. Yeah, yeah. You understand. Mm -hmm. uh, but you appoint, and, and it's possible for President Ichirema to make mistakes mm -hmm. because he's human being. Yes. yes. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. But when people point out that mistake, it should be corrected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? It should be corrected. Why is Ron Mwambwa still in, uh, is in acting the general? general. general. Mm -hmm. Why is he still there? Mm. Those are the questions. Mm. You understand? Mm. Maybe the the aim is for this country to get another audit report, which is as okay. useless as the one we got mm. previous mm. time. Mm. Mm. Maybe mm. that's the aim. Now mm. you you <laughs> people are already to hide corruption. to hide corruption. Absolutely. To hide yeah. People, including diplomats, are already observing corruption, mm. Mm. which the Auditor General does not. Eh, detect mm -hmm. the illegal auditor general yes. that cannot detect <laughs> is blind to the corruption is blind that we to see. That. so you have a huge problem of turning the perception for people to uh, come and trust again mm -hmm. that you are really serious about the rule of law mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. uh, now rule of law was one of those pillars upon which the current president campaigned yes isn't it mm -hmm. Uh, just those two examples will, will tell you, but also the illegal audit report, uh, you know, contraction of auditors at Ministry of Finance. Mm. You, they illegally contracted uh, firms which are connected firms to do audits. Mm. Okay, mm. illegally mm. Mm. against the law. You again, raise that we, issue again, too. we told mm. them mm. You raise that, that those, issue, but, especially in relation to defense and security. Absolutely. Wins. Absolutely. Uh, uh, that was just the, uh, the, the crowning of the whole uh, illegality. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is that 
the actual contraction of uh, those auditors was illegal. Mm -hmm. uh, remove the uh, state and security wings. It was still illegal. Mm -hmm. Okay, because mm -hmm. Ministry of Finance is an auditee. Okay, mm. it's an audit as mm. far as the auditor general is concerned, mm. and they cannot contract their own audit. Mm. 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 You understand? Mm. Yeah. It can only be the auditor general who can contract an auditor mm. uh, to support him or her mm. to execute a particular. Because uh, Ministry of Finance is part of the people institution. Is an audit. Mm. Uh, Minister of Finance has got no power over auditor general. Mm. No mm. power. They even have no power over their own audit process. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm. So they can't contract. That auditor general is contracted by the Zambian people. Yeah. Because yeah. we, the Zambian people, are the owners of the resources that the minister is applying. Mm. So you can't say you come and audit me. Uh, we, will... saw, we saw a huge celebration by the UPND and President Akainde Ichilima. In fact, on his, his, his uh, return from the debt restructuring process from France. Paris, France, we saw even um, uh, people transported along the airport route to yes. celebrate that we yes. had um, uh, secured something. You know, the, it was presented like this will resolve our problem. Apparently, the debt restructuring problem has not been resolved, despite those celebrations. That, that despite the MOU, it has not been signed. And the new one with the commercial creditors, the Eurobond holders, now even ended up in flames because both the IMF and uh, you know, the creditors committee rejected uh, that uh, three billion restructure. Just speak to these issues and where we are with the debt restructure. They, look, uh, look, Ambassador, that's part of the deception, okay? Mm -hmm. That's part of the deception. The, the president came out on the, on the sunroof, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, waving at people yeah. that we have worked. So yes. what work did they do? Mm -hmm. Because that as of the purpose today, of the celebration. Yeah, as of today, we, we are still where we were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As they came into office, mm -hmm. the debt has not been restructured, and um, uh, even even the embarrassing situation with uh, the bond orders, mm -hmm. you know, the euro bond orders, uh, where you 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 enter into what is known as, what, what would be seen as a corrupt Process. agreement, mm -hmm. okay, corrupt mm -hmm. understanding, mm -hmm. um, uh, and that it's the worst corruption that uh, even the people supporting you are able to see. It, does it now uh, make you wonder why even uh, an ambassador here can say there's corruption in government? Mm, mm, you mm. shouldn't wonder. Yeah. I, I think these corrupt issues going around everywhere uh, is creating a very firm reputation for the UPND government. Mm, mm. Very strong adverse reputation. Re reputation. Yeah, absolutely. A very, mm. very firm adverse reputation that this is a corrupt regime mm. and that um, uh, this regime just needs to transform it, so itself into a, a little better regime for them to have a chance of transforming the, the way people look at them. So, um, mining. You, Let's go to no, mining. Uh, actually, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not even able to exhaust the issues uh, where we talked about... Uh, about the economy, we didn't even talk about the milli meal, we yeah. didn't even talk yeah. about yeah. Uh, the, the bad performance of the quarter, we didn't talk ab properly about inflation, we mm. didn't talk about all these things. All economic indicators are just showing that UPND... Our foreign reserves are, de are depleted. depleted. The, the, Bank the exchange of Zambia rate governor, remains volatile. The, the Bank of Zambia governor admitted that mm. the country has no dollars to defend the quarter. Mm. We have no mm. dollars to defend the quarter. Mm. You understand? Mm. From the day the Bank of Zambia governor said that, every day, day on day, the But the Minister of Finance, you know, when he was opening uh, the official new offices, I think for Indobank, yes. then pronounced and warned that uh, the Kwacha will be mounting a comeback because of uh, the resolutions they've made in the mining sector, and that's where I was coming to. What, what are your views on it's, it's the poor. issues of KCM and Vedanta it's poor and to, Mopani and this so-called new investor? It's poor to actually think like that because mm. the, 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 the partner who is, the, their partner who is coming to Mopani is not known for mining. 
No one knows that partner for mine. And their history so, in mine. In their history in mine. Mm. So mm. It's, it's like you, the journalist, sir, being uh, taken to Mopani as uh, the general manager, and people are saying now this mine is going to, is going to perform. Mm. We mm. know you as a journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we know. Mm. So what mining do you know? Mm -hmm. for you to give hope that you are going to transform that undertaking. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that it, this is part of the, the, the broader scheme of UPND to mislead mm -hmm. the Zambian people. Mm -hmm. um, you, you should be speaking things that, uh, that are congruent. Yeah. Uh, you know, th things that can be able to, to marry one with the other. Mm. The policy in the mining sector, Dr. Msokotwan, is that you reduced the mineral royalty tax. tax. This is why today there's no money, there's no dollars in Bank of Zambia. Mm. Mm. The policy is that you are saying uh, in 10 years' time, we are going to produce 3 million metric, tons. metric tons of, uh, 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 of copper. From the day you made the pronouncement, Dr. Musokotwani, copper production has been going down year on year. In fact, so we, you we, can't... We, we, in 2023, we've recorded one of the lowest Absolutely. production in 20 years. Absolutely. And the thing also is that there's too much illegal mining. Mm. There's too much mm. illegal mining. When people undertake illegal activities, treasury does not benefit. Mm. So you need to nip in the bud some of these you know, activities which are detrimental to the growth of the national treasury. Mm. Uh, so you don't just say, no, not today, they have done no mining anywhere in the world. They should come and start uh, to do mining at a troubled mine, mm. and you think they'll do better? Uh, I'm sorry, we are going to finish 2024, 2025, and we'll go to elections in 2026 under the current economic Concrete conditions, crisis. if not worse, mm. unless government becomes serious and they begin to do things which, uh, you know, which speak to the realities of our time. Mm. 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 That's what I In fact, I was coming to the prospects for 2024. You've painted a very grim picture of 2023. You present no hope for our people. What do you think will happen in 2024? I, I, I honestly have a big problem to see uh, anything good coming out of 2024. Mm -hmm. um, uh, firstly, for, for leaders, uh, look at the court cases. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of time will be wasted. Mm -hmm. um, uh, look at the machinations of government. Mm -hmm. uh, they will spend a lot of time uh, wanting to completely obliterate PF. Mm. Now, PF is you and me and all the members. Mm. So PF is Zambians. Mm. So they are looking to shut down the Zambian people. Mm. That's what it means. <laughs> you, you understand? Mm. You, you are looking to shutting down the Zambian people. Mm. So instead of looking to improving their living conditions, mm. you want to kill them. Mm. Um, uh, this is why the contracts for... Uh, for my friends who executed some work in government will never be paid in 2024. Mm. They will not be paid in 2025, mm. but uh, that means their workers will not be paid. That mm. means people will lose jobs. Mm. Uh, even those skeleton operations which are existing now uh, will shut will down. Shut down. Mm. Uh, that means uh, ZRA will collect less taxes. Mm. Uh, that means fewer and fewer people will do business. Uh, that means few and few employment opportunities will be created. Mm. Let me be more clear. Uh, you take actions to achieve only three things in economics. Mm. And I'm not an economist. Yeah. I'm an economist, but I'm an accountant. Mm. In economist, you are targeting three things. You are targeting prices. Mm. You are targeting production. Mm. You are also targeting employment. Mm. These three things are the things you target in economy. Yeah. How so, have we done with employment? So how have we done when with it comes prices to prices? And how have we done with production? When it comes to prices, mm. ShopRite will tell you when you go to buy a 25 kg bag of millimeter, it will tell you that it has moved from 115 to uh, 300, 300 kg. Mm. Okay, when you go to a gas station, the gas station, the pump will tell you to tell you that it, uh, the, the cost of that, pro, uh, that service moved from 17 quarter per unit mm. to 30 quarter per unit, okay? And then let's come to employment. Mm. You show me uh, uh, a private sector employer who is employing mm. in masses. 
you show me uh, a UPN private and the Andresen Daka Indian gives a glowing issue that they've employed 30,000 teachers and 11,000 um, yes, uh, yes health and workers they are still employing and that they will employ 4,000 teachers this year and they will employ 4,200 health workers. We, uh, let's be happy that they are going to employ, but those uh, teachers and nurses and everybody will need to be paid. Mm. They will need to be paid from the money that the treasury is making. Mm. So uh, since we are contracting the economy, mm -hmm. uh, government will borrow more for them mm. to pay those teachers. Mm. And the burden of debt mm. is going to be unbearable for the Zambian people, mm. uh, especially in the future, because the idea of restructuring is to move the current obligations uh, to, the to, future. to the future. Mm. So you, 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 you get excited um, at your own uh, period or at the period mm. of your future generations. Uh, mm. You know, we, we have a problem in our country, mm. uh, and this problem must be solved. It must be solved by thinking mm. and mm. Uh, collecting ideas that work mm. and be able to institute uh, those ideas. And then we promote our country in a manner that it is able to stimulate jobs. Mm. What mm. was the other thing? Production. So yeah. go to the mind. The mind mm. will tell you about production. Mm. Okay. The the numbers. The mm. numbers will tell you about production mm. because how much... As, uh, by how much has ZRA failed to achieve its target for mm, 2023? Mm, mm, okay, mm. that's production. Uh, uh, Just on ZRM, and I'm married to the question of ZDM. ZRM reported to the country that they had failed to meet the target. Yes. Then the following week, they produced a chart yes. that they had made history because they had recorded 100 billion kwacha you know, in tax revenue. Yeah for the first time in our country. Okay, that is very good. ZDA ah. says they received investment pledges of $37 billion last year yeah. and $47 billion this ah. year. Is this deception or these numbers are real? I think it's... Uh, uh, some numbers could be real, others could be deception. Mm. Uh, you know, UPND generally is very good at deception. Mm. Uh, I think that for ZDRA reaching 100 billion collection could be a real number. But you divide 26 kwacha into that amount and see what your real... What, it would be you, far less than even last year. It will tremendously less. Mm, mm, okay, because mm. we're dealing with a dollar here. Mm, you understand? Mm, mm. You take the amount that was achieved last year and divide 16, 16 kwacha. Because that a dollar mm. was... At, oh, no, no, it was in 2021 when that was... Mm. Uh, you, you it divide, hovered around 18 and 19. That, that's the point. Mm. So their performance last year was much stronger mm. than it is now. Because today we are saying the 100, 100 billion must be divided into... Or we mm. must get that 26 watt mm. into mm. that 100 billion. Mm. And you get a very small number. Mm. So there might be deception. Mm. There, there's this habit of promoting positivity when is uh, in actual sense the, the, there's no positivity. Uh, you are one of um, the presidential candidates in the patriotic front. Yes. Like what, you. What, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts around solutions for this country? What do you think? It, it's governance. Mm. It's governance. Listen, we, we have to move away from deception. Mm. Uh, integrity for me is a key integrity. Mm. When people say, uh, this is Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, mm. this is what he represents. Mm. Uh, or when you yourself tell us this is what you represent, you must be able to demonstrate that that is actually what you represent. Mm. But uh, we, the people, also must take time to review mm. people's conduct, their history, what they bring with them to the table, the, the examples they have given us in the past, and mm. be able to say it is possible uh, this person may be saying the truth about what they represent. Uh, mm. What did uh, UPND represent? They represented a lower cost of living. Mm. They represented good governance. Mm. They represented they uh, employment. Em employment mm. you know, a lower cost of doing business. Mm. What has happened uh, to the cost of living? Mm. It's more than doubled. What mm. has happened to governance? It's actually uh, poor times, whatever amount you may choose. Mm. Uh, what has happened to corruption? It, there's mm. more corruption now than ever. ever. 
Mm. Uh, you know, what has happened to employment creation? There's literally no employment. They have killed the um, uh, employment. They have chased away the vendors from the, mm. from the streets mm. uh, in, in spite of Corella. They, mm. they, they have uh, destroyed the booth for uh, mo uh, mobile money operators. Mm. They have destroyed companies, uh, companies which, uh, you know, was dealing with government before they came into power, thinking that these companies are PF. Mm. Uh, you know, mm. the, so, mm. so I, I am sorry. Mm. There is no credibility in what they represented to the nation. Mm. Now, that is not what you do. When yeah. you say you are going to unite the country, mm. you don't lump people at cabinet office who are from one region. Mm. You don't mm. do that. Mm. You understand? Mm. You don't promote directors uh, 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 from one region. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. In parastatals. Mm. Um, uh, directors in ministries. You mm. don't do that. Mm. Uh, when people still fertilize in Kasama, they should be arrested. Mm. When people still fertilize in Mongo, they should be arrested. Mm. When people still fertilize in Mazabuka, or, or, or because I'm using provincial capitals, let me say Choma, mm. they should be arrested. Mm. Okay? And if they do so in Sparta, they should be arrested too. Mm. Mm. Okay? And uh, if you are a good leadership, you push for their arrests everywhere. And you pronounce their arrests the same way. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. understand? Ah, That's wonderful. what you do. Yeah, wonderful. As we come to the end of the program, do you have any last words, especially on the prospects uh, for you parliamentarians in parliament? We hope you put up a strong fight. And for our country, what is your advice to political parties and citizens? What should we do? Uh, well, this is time, I think, to unite against poverty uh, mm -hmm. because poverty is going to, you know, to end a lot of our people's lives if we are not careful as a country. Uh, this is time to unite around unity uh, because national division has reached the highest peak ever. Mm. Uh, this is time uh, to discourage anyone who promotes tribalism uh, mm. because tribalism now is being promoted, promoted at every juncture by leaders who you think should not do that. Mm. Uh, we have now come to a time when solutions must be provided mm. by all Zambian people to this government. Mm. Uh, so that the UPND government, if it is sensible enough, can pick the ideas, the minds of the Zambian people and be able to promote an agenda mm. that is going to cause the reduction of the cost of living, that is going to cause uh, the unity of our nation, mm. you know, that is going to cause uh, even the production uh, of our goods and services to increase so mm. that uh, the, the economic uh, environment is stimulated for job creation. Mm. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. And thank you for enriching this conversation. Oh, and the oh, policy have. discussions and policy alternatives, I think, were brilliant. Uh, today, thank you, dear viewers. We are hosting Honorable Mtotwe Kafoya, is Member of Parliament for Lunte, is former Minister of Transport and Communications, and uh, is a vibrant, current vibrant Member of Parliament in the National Assembly. Thank you for your leadership. You are a member of Central Committee in the Patriotic Front, and uh, I think you've done very well. Thank you for Most joining great. us in the conversation. And to our dear viewers, uh, join me as I host another leader that will give you incisive uh, perspectives into national affairs. Good day. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.